So it was again shocking to find out that they had this information for all those years and held on to it and deprived my father of knowing who his parents were and that he actually had a brother. If my father knew he had a brother, he would have moved to hell on earth to get to England and find him. And he would have. But at least this gave me a new piece of the puzzle to pursue. Eventually I did find his brother, my uncle's birth certificate. From there found out when he got married, whose kids he had and everything else. So the next step was to write to Bernardo's because I found out through my uncle's aunt that he was in placed in Bernardo's in the 1920s. They were married for over 25 years before he even told his wife that he was a Bernardo boy. Next step, write to Bernardo's. And the first response I had was, thank you for your inquiry. We're awfully busy here. We have all these inquiries from Australia we're dealing with, and we won't be able to deal with yours in the foreseeable future, which meant a couple of years. They couldn't even simply confirm, yes, your uncle was in our care. Might have made waiting a little easier. Two years go by, I wrote them and said, it's been a year, what's going on? When am I gonna hear? Took another six months and they wrote back with a fairly detailed account of his time in care. When I opened that package, turned a page over and there was a photograph of my uncle when he was admitted to care. And the photograph had included two young girls on the same day admitted. Then I discovered, oh, I now have two aunts, my father's sisters who were in care in 1925. I tried to get their records, but they wouldn't accept my authorization to disclose information from my aunt's son. And that was the end of that. So again, that might be left to the next generation of people. My aunts and uncles, kids who may or may not want to know may write to Bernardo's, but the shocking thing was that was 17 years ago. I was on Facebook reading some posts that people had made about contacting Bernardo's and the reply was literally the same. We're awfully busy. We're having inquiries from all over. Sometime in the foreseeable future, we will get back to you. And their priority is dealing with living British home children. Well, we're running out of them. They are dying off. They will be gone. And the first generation sons and daughters who write may or may not get information. But if the grandchildren write, they're going to be told, you have to prove that you're a direct descendant of our child in care. On and on and around and around, generation to generation, it's got to stop. There's no legitimate reason why they are holding basic information. Who a parent is, who an uncle is, if somebody has a brother, but they've been putting people off for over a hundred years. They're very, very good at it. And somebody has to take them to, cast, to task. There's a limited amount of descendants who know enough to even write to the right agency. And to be told, it's gonna to take a couple of years. By the way, it's gonna cost you a couple hundred bucks. You may or may not get the information. That's up to us. And I think people are getting very, very tired of that. It is a question of right to know. It's not a question of privacy. If they argue they must protect the privacy of their children, then somebody needs to remind them they are not your children. They were in your care and you bobbled it. 
You allowed them to be killed. You allowed them to be beaten. You allowed them to be buried in mass graves. These are not your children. Every one of them was somebody's son and somebody's daughter. We are limited in what we can do. I managed to identify 50,000 British home children myself with the help of volunteers. At this rate, it will take another 100 years to identify the other 100,000 children. We need government in for in government help with that. Unaccustomed as we are to asking for help, but the government has access to passenger lists, they have access to border crossings, they have access to information that the public doesn't. And they are responsible for buying these kids, selling these kids, bringing them to Canada, and leaving them to their own fates. It's information we want. That's it, that's all.